You ready to have some damn fun? <laughs> You're gonna do a damn joke. I'm gonna do lots of damn jokes. <laughs> This is very cool though. Uh, so today we're at Hoover Dam, yeah. which is one of the big reasons we wanted to come to Las Vegas to area. Observation yeah. deck and we're on the observation the deck. Famous Hoover <laughs> As the gentleman just told us. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see lots of pictures, we're going to see lots of video, we're going to try to get a bunch of different angles from a bunch of different here, stuff from the dam. Yeah. And we're going to tell you some damn facts. Of Lake Mead, the dam. The Colorado River and the bypass <laughs> They have all kinds of tours out here. The only tour that they're letting you do right now is a self-guided self exhibit tour, yeah. which you kind of walk through the observation deck area. You There's get to watch a film. film. Yeah, you get to learn more about how it was built, all yeah. that good stuff. So all the guided tours are shut down right now. Yeah. You have to go through yourself. It's only $10 a person, which yeah. is good, because yeah. you get to learn a lot of cool, interesting stuff. Some of the stuff that we're going to share with you yeah. as we go but only seven on the damn tour. Feet across the base. <laughs> Well, we are standing here in front of this uh, plaque that uh, is dedicated to those who gave their lives while building the dam. Now, contrary to popular belief, and it is like a, an old myth that people were buried in the concrete <laughs> as it was being poured in the dam and you can't stop while the concrete's pouring. So there's like people in the dam. Not true. Totally false. Sounds no one's cool, poured into the dam. Not this dam anyway. I'm sure it's happened, but not yeah. this dam. However, 96 people 96 workers did uh, lose their life in construction-related incidences while building the dam. Now, if you think about that, that's really not that, I mean, it's a lot of people, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot of people because it took five years. It took to five do this. whole years. So Two years ahead of schedule. Exactly. So, so while we're talking about that, here's another fun fact. It took five years to build this thing. They actually created the town of Boulder City. Yeah. It wasn't even a thing. It was the they created the, the town for the workers. So when you think about how many, it was say 3,500 workers and you yep. only lost 96. And they're That's working crazy. around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, three different shifts, only two days off a year. Yeah. So for five straight years, only 96 died. That's pretty a small good. Number and they didn't pour anybody into the concrete, <laughs> so that's a win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to show you some more and we'll tell you some more fun facts here in a second. Oh my gosh. I hope the camera gets even close to doing it justice. Yeah. Because it is just so massive out here. <laughs> you feel so tiny. Yeah. This out here the is bypass. the second highest bridge in the United States. Right. I don't know what the first one is. It didn't really say in the stuff that I was looking up. Yeah. Uh, we are standing on top of the Hoover Dam right now, yeah. which is comprised of, fun fact, fun. three million cubic Right? Tons of concrete. That's a lot. Three million cubic <laughs> tons of concrete. That's a lot. That's a lot. Of you can see too. They talked about in the construction how they built blocks of concrete and then stacked yeah. them. Yeah. And you can see in the dam where all the blocks. Yeah. Are. And it was impressive. The video mentioned how they put cylinders as they were pouring concrete. Because so, of the heat. Because of the heat. So these cylinders kept it cool. Yeah. And then that way they could constantly be pouring and didn't have to wait for the concrete. Otherwise, they said it would have taken up to a hundred years <laughs> for the concrete to cool <laughs> on its own. So. And that kind of time. No. <laughs> they were on a schedule. <laughs> yeah. So these engineers came up with this genius way of running pipes uh, through the concrete and they're running cooled water through the pipes right. to cool it down. Good. And so they, they didn't even have to delay no. construction. They just kept right on it, rolling, it's man. It's the reason it was able to finish two, two years, years early. Ahead. 
of schedule. Yeah, so smart people. It is crazy that the engineering that existed in, in the mines in 1930. Like, yeah. I would think that'd be more closer impressive. to like modern day technology, <laughs> but these guys were really smart back yes. then. And uh, they actually, they had parts that they couldn't get in because they were so big. So they built a factory Three, right here on site to build the parts that they needed because yeah. they just couldn't get them in on the narrow roads that they had at the time. Yeah. Crazy. It is impressive. And you know, it was really good because this is the, the time during the, the Great Depression. Yeah. People were hurting for jobs out east. So that this project, mind. Yeah. created tons of jobs a bunch of people moved out here and again like i said earlier it created boulder city yeah so very cool and uh, what we didn't mention earlier was the salary of <laughs> the workers was crazy, which i guess for its time was a lot but four dollars a day four dollars a day <laughs> and, they were, your life. <laughs> and they were happy to get it <laughs> they were happy to get it that's what's crazy yeah. it was in the midst of the great depression so yeah a job that was paying was a job you were going to do <laughs> yeah so we're going to go uh, check out the rest of this side of the dam then we're going to cross over we'll see the lake mead side and we'll tell you some fun facts about the lake mead side too okay Well, behind us is Lake Mead, yeah. which is the largest reservoir in the United States. It's me and me. Largest man-made lake in the United States yeah. and holds a crap ton of water. <laughs> yes. The water that runs through here runs uh, several um, turbines, generators, yeah. that power several cities yes. in several states. They, <laughs> yes, it's so quite impressive. So the amount impressive. of power that runs through here is like billions of kilowatt hours. <laughs> I don't even remember the number it they said. It was... Uh, it was a lot. Yeah, it was over a million. Yeah. A lot. But you can see now that the uh, the levels are pretty low right now. It's extremely low. Uh, but in the spring, it'll fill back up after the glacier water up in uh, Colorado Melts. and the mountains melts. It'll run back down here. So it doesn't rely on rainfall here. No, it relies off runoff from all other places yeah. in the United States. Um, 250 acres of lake back here. That's a lot. That's just the, the top surface. Yeah. <laughs> so you're talking about 29 million acres of water That's to give you an idea one acre of water holds 350,000 gallons so you do the math on that because we're not that's a lot of water <laughs> it is and it's a ton and it's beautiful i'm sure it's more beautiful when it's fuller yeah but it is but so it is crazy. impressive to see it low because you can see the water lines so yeah that's what makes it impressive yeah so you can tell it is a distinct white line yeah where you can tell where the normal normal water level is yeah so it's all just impressive out here very beautiful Gorgeous. definitely worth coming absolutely Well, we hope you enjoyed the damn tour <laughs> and learned something from the damn facts. You know, there there's a, there's tour buses that come out here from Vegas. Yes. And I think that if I had to work, that would be that my would be job. Your job. Just so I could yell, get on the damn bus. <laughs> huh? No eating on the damn bus. <laughs> Just the reason to say damn all day. All right, we're here. Get off the damn bus. <laughs> <laughs> Tour's over. I could see you doing it. That'd be it. worth it. Yeah. I don't even care how much it pays. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really seriously hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. It was really cool for us. Um, not a whole lot to see, but what you do get to see is very impressive. It is. Uh, I think that once they open the actual tours back up to go through it, I think that would be pretty well, impressive Yeah, you too. can see the inner workings of it. That's, that's yeah, cool. Very we've, cool. We've seen the inner workings of a dam before. Yeah, so. just not this one. So, so we kind of know what it looks yeah. like. but Yeah, we got uh, a private tour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.